is ablaze with flags for the visit of Queen Elizabeth and the Duke of Edinburgh. A visit which is a royal reunion as well as a state event. The Portuguese are quick to capture the almost honeymoon spirit of the occasion. And although storm damage had wreaked havoc with decorations, they just buy more flags and give their beautiful city a quick spring clean. So that when the great day comes, the wind and rain are forgotten and everything is bright and sparkling, ready for the Queen's arrival. Matching the beauty of the city, the Royal Yacht Britannia glides up the smooth waters of the River Tagus into the heart of Lisbon. Waiting on the quayside are President Craviero Lopes and his wife. A royal salute thunders from the training bark Sagres as the state barge approaches the quay, manned by sailors in historic ceremonial dress. A most appropriate way for the queen of a seafaring nation to arrive in the capital of a people whose sailors have a tradition as ancient as our own. Lisbon is not disappointed. It expected a happy queen, and she is smiling from the moment of her welcome. The Duke, too, is obviously in the best of spirits and looking very fit after his long tour of the Southern Hemisphere. After the official greetings, President and Queen move away from the quayside to view the big parade in Black Horse Square. Six thousand men of the Lisbon Military District form the Guard of Honor before the dais, but there seem to be almost as many photographers as soldiers crowding to take their pictures before the march pass begins. And a very colourful march past it is by the crack troops of Britain's oldest ally. Cavalry units of the National Republican Guard, as well as infantry detachments, prepare to escort the royal visitors to Kelluth Palace. Eight greys draw the English-made golden carriage and at first the atmosphere remains suitably formal, but as the carriage draws away, Portuguese enthusiasm breaks through. The Queen is obviously delighted, for her smile is as gay as ever.